Livermore Falls, located in Plymouth, New Hampshire, has many special features that may, at first, not appear to be very prominent. However, this place is historically, geologically, and recreationally significant. For example, it was the site of a former large woolen mill. You can still see the brick remains. You can also see a lenticular bridge crosses the falls. And it, this was also the site of the first fish hatchery in New Hampshire. Livermore Falls is also a popular spot to begin your float down the river on inner tubes in the summertime. Geologically, the mineral camptonite can be found at Livermore Falls. It is the type locality, which means it was the place where it was first discovered. It looks like basalt, only it cools more slowly because it has crystals. Also, you can see a dike, which means it cuts through the older rock that surrounds it. The sandy beach you see here is because the river carries the sand and dumps it before it takes a big left turn. You can also see what were once sedimentary layers that were laid down and then got metamorphosed from pressure. The original horizontal layers are now tilted. There is a geologic fault here. You can tell by the way the rock layers on the other side of the river are different. Another great recreational activity taking you by the falls is a ride on the Hobo and Winnipesaukee Scenic Railroad. This railroad is part of the Boston, Concord, and Montreal Railroad. It was built in 1846, and since 1987, it has been a tourist train.